Cortexin improves brain activity, so it is often prescribed for children who fall behind in speech development. Does this drug really help to start speaking? Let me explain a bit about the nature of this drug, so that it is clear why it helps with such conditions. First of all, the name cortexin derives from the Latin cortex and alludes to the several cortex. It is derived through the extraction of biologically active amines and amino acids from the cerebral cortex of cattle uh, or pigs, making it fairly complex biological material that restores brain functions after various disorders and diseases. For example, it helps with different types of brain infections, consequences of traumatic brain injuries, consequences of intoxication. So, in general, it helps with any serious pathological brain conditions or impaired brain development. All these disorders are associated with the fact that there is a deterioration in the memory, thought process and speech. If children are exposed to them, they tend to cause a big lag in development. If adults are, well, there are other negative consequences. Treatment with cortexin helps to restore brain cell function. The drug is prescribed in the form of injections, and these injections are administered intermuscularly. The course of the treatment lasts only for 10 days, and it helps to progressively improve the metabolic processes of the brain cells. Since the drug includes about 20 amino acids, the protein in the brain cells develops faster and works better. Any protein consists of amino acids, you see. Some children find it difficult to master the function of correct speech while attending school or speech therapist. Therefore, teachers often become upset with such kids. With cortexin, the situation drastically improves, fine motor skills become sharper, articulations become better, and, in general, it's much easier for the brain to memorize information. This may be perceived as some kind of stimulant, but, in fact, it is not a temporary effect, it is truly a restoration of brain functions. In any case, we shouldn't pin our hopes solely on cortexin, should we? If the child does not speak at a certain age or speaks poorly, he still needs to attend a speech therapist and, if necessary, a psychologist or a psychiatrist. Of course, of course, cortexin merely provides intuition to the brain cells, but for the speech-related parts of the brain to function properly, there must be feed-forward and feedback with the speech apparatus. Just as singers practice with a vocal coach who helps them to improve their voices, even people with, with, with well-trained voice still practice all the time. So must a child with a speech impairment practice with a speech therapist. Only this helps to really improve the results and to truly restore their speech. And when the kids start being able to speak, they get such pleasure from it, they have such joy in their eyes because they can finally do it. Sometimes parents look at their children and know that they like to say something but aren't able to articulate it. And we tell the parents, when they start talking, you'll hear how many interesting thoughts they have in their heads. Just you wait. When the kids start speaking, it's such a blessing. These children have a lot of pent-up desire to express themselves, and when they become able to, their parents and relatives simply look at them with tears in their eyes. This is why this drug is so interesting. There used to be a similar drug called cerebralism. It is also an extract from cerebral cortex of animals, but cortexin is considered more modern, more effective, more refined and less toxic. All right, should we be concerned that this drug is made from bovine brain extract? Because a lot of people are bothered by this fact. I understand the main issue is that cortexin comes from animal bodies. Yes, sometimes we hear scary stories about unofficial medical practices. In some places they use strange decoctions made from bear claws, endangered rhinos have their horns sawed off for the same purposes. Of course, such criminal medical practices are awful, but sometimes for the sake of their child, people are ready to do anything. In our case, cortexin is absolutely official drug. It is extracted with acetic acid from the cerebral cortex of calves, aged no more than 12 months. The quality of material, including its safety in terms of possible prion disease is carefully controlled. Many clinical trials define cortexin tolerability as excellent and its safety has been confirmed during practical use by millions of patients both in Russia and abroad. There is nothing to be afraid of. At what age can treatment with cortexin begin? And when should one be concerned at all because of their child is not speaking? You know, because some mothers believe that a one or two year old child should be able to say at least some basic words, like mom, dad, give, take. Others believe that when the time comes, 
Then their child will start speaking, maybe even using whole sentences straight away. There are child prodigies and there are indigo children. That is, these children are absolutely extraordinary, but there exist defined norms of physical, sexual and mental development for certain ages. Therefore, if the child does not start walking for a long time, we can suspect that there is something wrong with his musculoskeletal system. If the child does not start speaking somewhere around a year and a half, does not want to or simply isn't able to, you don't need to sound the alarm yet, you just need to pay attention to this. You need to tell your child stories and fairy tales, you need to communicate with him or her so that he sees and learns how to speak and he also needs to be encouraged. At first, babies babble, that's when they make some kind of inarticulate sounds. Then this babbling should turn into defined expressive phrases or, well, at least into words. Let's say words. Then children will start forming certain sentences when they need something. For example, we place an apple in front of the child or a toy and we teach them that he must explain what he needs, he must say it. That is called the principle of interest and we employ it. But when we see that this isn't working, of course we must turn to pediatricians, speech therapists and child psychologists for help. And when we see that teachers, psychologists and speech therapists indeed determine delay in speech and development, we must start the treatment. You don't need to wait. Your goal here is to make sure the child is able to communicate with his peers in preschool and then at school, to identify, express his feelings, desires and needs in general, so that he grows in peace and harmony and does not feel flawed. Not everyone recalls their early years. Someone remembers themselves at the age of two, someone remembers themselves at one and a half, someone only at four. But the feeling of pain, suffering and humiliation is always remembered best. And can you imagine, when people grow up, people in their 20s or 40s, they still remember the pain of feeling inadequate and still may have an inferiority complex that has remained since childhood. To avoid that, it is very important for such children to live, grow and develop together with the main group of their peers. Therefore, it is recommended to start the treatment with cortexin as soon as delay in development has been confirmed. How many times a year can one receive treatment with cortexin? It is generally recommended to repeat the course in about three, four, six months, or it can be done twice a year. Does this drug have any side effects? Some parents notice their kids have headaches or even numbness of limbs. Is it just an intolerance of the drug? Since cortexin is a bovine brain extract, it is considered a biological drug, which requires it to undergo certain tests. It is checked not only for sterility, but also for biological compatibility with our body, so that there is no rejection no anaphylactic reaction or allergy. So, as I've already mentioned, this drug is safe and may be used by children. Such sensation as slight dizziness or a headache are not considered a contradiction for using cortexin. We need the result, the development and the improvement of speech. So, if the child has minor side effects of the sort, cortexin may be used every other day. But it is important to stay in course and not to lose sight of our goal, to make the child as healthy as possible.